everyone. Happy Friday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far and are having a great start to your weekend. So I am here for a couple of new candle reviews to share with you guys today. Um, and they're both going to be from Kringle and specifically from Kringle Candles new Ramekin collection. So um, if you missed uh, the news a couple of months ago, I think that these launched in around November or December. It was summer between then. Um, but Kringle brought back their Ramekin candles, which... I've only been shopping with Kringle for a couple of years, so I don't really know the entire history behind it, but I believe that one of the first collections that Kringle created when they started the company was these ramekins here. So um, I think there's kind of like a nostalgia behind them and they decided to bring them back. So um, I did pick up a couple of them and I'm finally getting around to burning these and reviewing them for you guys. Um, I got them in December, but they really just weren't scents that I was going to enjoy in December. Um, I'm a pretty seasonal burner and during the holidays, I really like to specifically stick to like my specific holiday scents. And so that's kind of what I did. But um, now that the holidays are over and I'm kind of done with those types of scents, I'm now ready for these more like fruitier types of scents and sweeter scents. And that's kind of what I picked up for this line. So the first one here that we're going to talk about is going to be the Acai Berry Crunch. And then a little bit later, I will upload my review of the Vanilla Almond Swirl. So stay tuned later for that. But um, yeah, I kind of want to give you guys some background information on the candle before the actual review starts. So... Some backgrounds on this candle. Obviously, it's a ramekin here. Now, I do like this idea of the ramekin candle. Um, it's not like my favorite. I feel like a lot of people got really excited for the look of these. And personally, I think they're really cute as like baking wear, but I just don't really see them as like a candle for me personally. Like, I don't know. It just kind of looks weird to have like a cake pan like in uh, my living room. Like, it's just... It's kind of odd to me, so I'm not like necessarily drawn to the look of the candle as much as I am the actual scent of the candle. But um, I do 100% plan on reusing these as like dishes for cooking or baking. Um, I just think that these look really cute for that. And that's honestly what I'm more excited to do with these candles and then to burn them actually. So I did just want to let you guys know that. But obviously they are a really pretty white ramekin. Um, they are 14 ounces, so that's your ounces. Um, they are a four wick candle, so that's kind of another big appeal to the candle. Um, it's got a quite wide diameter, and so they added a fourth wick for this one. And this is kind of going to be your introduction into um, the new like four wicks for Kringle. Um, Kringle will be launching new four wick candles in 2024 there's going to be a lot of new launches in 2024 for kringle i'm really excited um but the ambassadors kind of had gotten to see a little sneak peek they're not specifically going to be with the ramekin jars but they're going to be four wick candles and just like an expansion into that realm so um i think that this is kind of like a little sneak peek about what you might be getting from the future four wicks but they are four wick. Um, they still do have the 100% soy wax formula. So it's the same formula that is in the Kringle and the Country Candle jars. So it's the same clean burning experience that you get from both of those. Um, they do use the same wicks as well, I believe. I will say, I feel like these wicks are slightly smaller or like less thick than the normal wicks for Kringle. Um, I specifically noticed it more with the Almond Swirl one, which is sitting right here behind me. Um, I've noticed with that one, that one is a little bit skinnier for the wicks and it just, it's not struggling, but the wicks are definitely smaller than the average wick. But um, these wicks right here are doing quite well, but we'll kind of talk about those more when we get to the actual performance of the candle. But um, yeah, that is some of the, um, that's some of the background details on the candle itself. Um, it says that they're French white traditional glazed porcelain bakeware. So these seem like really good jars. Um, again, they're really cute. I'm really excited to bake in these. I, I want to like, I love baking and I've 
done like some baking videos here on my channel, um, but I kind of haven't done a ton. So maybe in 2024, I'll get back into that and this will be like the way that I get back in. But anyways, um, let's talk about this actual candle. So Acai Berry Crisp, the description on this one reads, the vibrant aroma of succulent acai, sweet berries, and wholesome granola creates a fragrant symphony invoking a delightful sun-kissed morning. Your top notes are acai, your mid notes are sweet berries, and your base note is granola. One thing I do want to mention, and this doesn't really have to do with the candle, but I have noticed that I think the newer Kringle um, like descriptions, they're a little bit shorter. So as you can tell, there's like one note for each base top uh, mid. There's It's a lot less intense for the notes, and I know that there were a lot of complaints about that because... When you're buying online, like you want to have like an easy description to read so you can really understand what fragrance you're getting. And I do have to say, I feel like the Kringle blends are a little bit more just like there. Like I feel like they're a little bit more um, unique and intense than like your Bath and Body Works candle. Like Bath and Body Works can get away with putting three notes on their candle and you're probably going to know what it smells like. But I do think that the Kringle blends are just slightly like elevated and I just feel like the scents are a little bit more unique. But anyways, so what do I actually smell in this candle? It really does smell authentic to like an acai berry to me. Um, for me, like we have a little smoothie shop up the street and um, I do love the acai berry like smoothie bowl. That's what I get. It's like acai berries. They put like sliced fruit on top, granola. You get that like crunchiness and it's, it's really, really delicious. And this candle does really translate that food as a fragrance. Um, this is definitely what it smells like. So you get the like sweet, but also tart acai berry. This is not like an overly sweet scent. I feel like for me, this is more of like a sour almost. Like it's kind of sour. It's a little bit tart, but there's definitely some sweetness from like sugar or the berry, but it's a really nice berry scent. And then I do get definitely like a little bit of like, I know it's not mentioned in here, but I think lemon. And I think that that like slight fruity citrusy blend that I'm getting, I think that maybe that is kind of why I'm getting that sour note. I do pick up like a slight lemony note in here, just very much in the background, but it kind of plays in with this, like the sourness that I'm picking up. Um, and then granola, I do get a little bit of like a granola type note. Um, it's a little bit of like a sweeter vanilla, but I actually really like this one. It's a really delicious scent. I've really enjoyed pairing it with the vanilla almond swirl. Those two have been really great burning together. I think that they just make a really lovely fragrance. And overall, I really like the scent. Um, it's it's great for the spring and summertime. Um, it's not like Kringle's like best scent, but I do actually really like this one. And it's just like a very fruity, a little bit sour, but also sweet at the same time, um, like berry type of scent. I really like this one. It definitely leans more of like a berry smoothie or like a berry... Um, just like fresh berries more than it's like a berry cake. Like I feel like there are a lot of different like berry cake type scents. This one doesn't really lean there. Lean there. You don't really get like a cakey note or like a super gourmand note. To me, it's definitely much more fruity, sweet, but also sour. So that's my thoughts on the actual scent of this one. Uh, let's get right into the performance here. So the performance for me is doing really, really well. And if this candle is kind of what we're going to be getting with the four wicks, then I am really excited because it's burning flawlessly for me. Um, I expected with the soy wax that it would burn great, and it is. Um, it's doing very well. Um, you can kind of already see this is like, it's a very like short candle. So I kind of wanted to angle the camera so you guys could actually see the wax pool. Um, and as you can tell, it's doing really well for me. The wax is definitely very clean. There's no sootiness, discoloration, or anything like that. Um, the wicks are doing really well as as well. Uh, like I said, the vanilla almond swirl wicks are a little bit thinner, so I'm not trimming those, but I am trimming this acai berry crunch one. Um, for me, it just, the wicks definitely get a little bit of like a uh, top to them, and I'll kind of zoom in so you can see. Uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that those wicks will need to be trimmed after I blow the candle out, but um, yeah, it's a really nice clean burn. There's no issues there whatsoever. It's just as clean as the uh, normal 
Pringle tumblers are. Um, there is kind of like a fear when you add more wicks, you're more likely to get a, maybe like a dirtier burn, especially more towards the end or at the halfway point. But I've honestly not experienced that whatsoever. Um, of course, something could pop up. I've never tried this formula before from Kringle. Well, it's the same wax formula, but I've never tried it in this jar. So maybe towards the end, it will get a little bit messier. But um, I'll definitely update you guys in the weekly wax chat and just kind of let you know um, how the candle is doing. But so far, I definitely give it two thumbs up. Um, strength and throw for me on that one. That is where I'm really excited to talk about this one because the strength and throw on here is a really strong strength and throw. For me, I get somewhere between like an eight and a half to a nine and that just makes me so happy because I know that there has been a lot of strength and throw complaints with the Kringle candles, specifically in the two wick styles. So the country and Kringle jars. But um, I think with Kringle going more into four wicks, you're going to see some more improved strength and throw. You're going to get some more from the candle. And I think that that was really like the one missing piece with Kringle. Like their wax blend is great. The scents are great. They just needed a little bit more oomph. And honestly, it's hard because like the science behind that, like the two wicks, they can't do as much. I mean, it can only do so much. Like... It's two wicks, it doesn't have a huge opening, so you're not gonna get like a ton of strength and throw from it. You're probably gonna get like an upper medium at best. Um, and I don't really know all like the science behind candles, but I know like just because you add more fragrance oil doesn't actually mean that the candle will be stronger. So there's definitely science behind it, but I think that them going more into four wick candles and more three wicks and just more than the two wicks, I think that it's gonna really help with the strength and throw and that's definitely being translated here. Um, it's a really nice solid eight and a half to a nine for me. I wouldn't say this one fills up my entire house, but it definitely fills up the area that it's in. I've been burning it mostly in the kitchen and it definitely trying to kind of like travels out of that area as well. Um, I will say the strength is probably better than the throw is. I don't feel like this one throws through the entire house, but I do think that the strength is there. And also I noticed that this one is quite lasting as well. It really lasted for me and I could smell it honestly for a couple of hours after I blew it out, which that's not normal with me for Kringle. I mean, sometimes I'll smell it after, but normally after I blow it out, that's pretty much it. But this one definitely lasted for a while, so that kind of surprised me as well. But overall, I really like this fragrance, um, and I would definitely try more from this Ramekin line. I'm interested to see if Kringle will keep it around or not. Um, but yeah, so far, I give it two thumbs up, and um, I love the performance that I get from it. So let me know down below in the comments if you've tried these Ramekins from Kringle yet, and if you have, let me know uh, your thoughts. Definitely check out the description down below. I'll put my link for Kringle and my code so you can save some money. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and stay tuned. I've got another review coming up in a little bit. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.